So let's talk a little bit about mm-hmm. what it was like shooting in Harlem and, and, and getting to know it. Did, were either of you familiar with Harlem before Run the World? Had you spent any kind of real time there prior to it? Yeah, I this this is like one of my favorite questions. I think uh, Corbin would probably agree too because both of us lived in Harlem. Um, I believe Corbin lived in Harlem for a, was it two years, uh, Corbin? A year, yeah, like a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Oh, a year and a half. And and I lived in Harlem for seven years. And you know, I like living in Harlem was my dream as as a kid. When I dreamed about living in New York City, I knew that Harlem was the neighborhood that I wanted to to live in specifically. And I used to do um, you know school projects and 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 presentations on the Harlem Renaissance. And mm-hmm. I was I, I loved watching Showtime at the Apollo and mm-hmm. and all of the references to 125th Street and various movies. You know, like the Cotton Club and Lennox and. Um, you know, it was just, it, it was a dream come true to, to actually get to work on a show that shows so much love and reverence for this beautiful neighborhood and this beautiful community. And yes, Harlem has changed a lot. I mean, there's, there's very valuable conversations to be had about gentrification and all of that. But at the same time, Harlem, in my opinion, still feels very much the same. Um, it's, yeah. it's changed, but it still has that, that it still has that heart. And and going back there to work on this show, it was it was such an honor just to be, you know, in some of the sets where we're shooting at, um, you know, restaurants around around the neighborhood and just having the the residents walking by and like cheering us on and telling us how excited mm-hmm. they were and they couldn't wait for the show. And that was just mm-hmm. so beautiful because it was like we got their blessing, you know, while we were creating, you know, this 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 show that really does give an homage to Harlem and. And one thing that I would like to say, because I've, you know, what, I, guess, I guess something that people maybe don't quite understand is that, because I've heard a few people say like, well, where's, where are the rest of the landmarks or we're not really getting to see Harlem and da 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 da. And I think people have to remember that we were filming, you know, during COVID. And so right. we had a lot of restrictions in terms of, you know, how many, how many hours you can be in certain locations and how many trucks you can have on the street and things like that. And so with the limitations we were working with, as far as, you know, really showcasing the beauty of Harlem, I think that, I think our crew did an absolutely incredible job. And had it not been for COVID, we would have been able to showcase a lot more, but unfortunately that kind of limited us in terms of what we could, what we could give you guys yeah. as far as like, you know, visuals and landmarks of the neighborhood. 